As you guys can see, I am running the real Yuzu emulator on my Android device. Let's get started. Yo, what's up, guys? This is Aprix here, and Yuzu emulator has now been officially launched for Android devices. It's available on Play Store, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to set it up. Now, before starting, I'd like to talk about minimum requirements. To install Yuzu emulator on your Android device, you need minimum Android 11 or above, along with minimum Snapdragon 855 processor. You also need around 4 to 8 GB of RAM, depending on the game which you try to emulate. With that being said, if you guys are new here, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notification as I'll be uploading gameplay tests on low end devices, mid range devices, and will be trying out games like Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, Pokemon Sword, and much, much more. Let's get started through today's video. Everyone, be sure to comment Rest in Peace again, a simulator and Skyline Emulator because the official Team Yuzu and Team Citra are in the chat. So, first of all, you just have to open Play Store and search for Yuzu Emulator and scroll down until you find the Yuzu Emulator early access or the normal build. Now if we just go to about this app section, this is its initial release. Compatibility with thousands of games, enhanced graphics such as resolution scaling, support for external game pairs, game modding and much more. If we just go ahead and scroll down, we'll find out Yuzu early access benefits. Now if you guys don't know, there are two Yuzu builds even for PC. One is the normal Yuzu emulator, the other one is Yuzu early access build. Now in early access build, you get lot of features, better performance which will be eventually rolled out to the normal version of Yuzu in few weeks. This is a little bit costly but if you want to try it out you can definitely do that. Let's just go back to Yuzu emulator and here you will see required OS is Android 11 and up. Let's just go ahead and open the Yuzu emulator. Welcome, learn how to set up Yuzu and jump into emulation. This is really crazy guys. Like two years ago I told you guys that Yuzu emulator will be launching for Android devices as it's from Team Citra and the day is finally here. So let's just go ahead and tap on allow. Here we'll have to import our product keys. So just go ahead and tap on select keys afterwards open the folder where you store your product keys then click on next here you will have to choose a folder where we store our switch games so we'll just go ahead and click on add games we'll go back here i have stored my entire library let's just go ahead and click on use this folder and allow Afterwards, it will say game directory selected. And that's about it guys. Now we can click on continue and here we go. All of our games are being shown in Yuzu emulator. Now there are three sections at the bottom, game, search and settings. Now in my next video, I'll be telling you guys the best settings for Yuzu emulator. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for that. But for today's video, we'll be trying out Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 and Demon Slayer Hinokami Chronicles along with Pokemon Legends Arceus. Let me try holding this game icon to see if there is any save data feature. Nope, so I am unable to import any save data. Alright, we just clicked on Legends Arceus, so I guess we'll take a look at its gameplay. Hopefully the game works well. And let me tap back because I would like to actually enable uh, the FPS option. This is additional in-game settings, I guess. We can change input overlay, we can go to settings from here too. And this settings UI seems similar to that of Citra. Let's just go to general, limit speed percentage. Okay, it's Citra settings, what the heck. Uh, let's go to graphics, accuracy level, etc. V-Sync mode. I don't think there is any FPS option. Okay, the game has successfully started, but there is no FPS bar. We'll figure it out in our next video. And Yuzu is the best Nintendo Switch emulator, even for PC, because it has very less graphical issues. It is very optimized. Uh, it was also the first ever Nintendo Switch emulator. Let me type my name. To see that this emulator is finally released for Android devices, it just brings me joy. So here we go guys, the game appears to be starting and I can already notice few texture issues. Now we'll need to figure out the best settings in future. As this is the initial release, I guess the games do work but they are not completely optimized. They might have some graphical issues with default settings. So if we enable few options like dock mode etc, I think they might be fixed. The game is about to begin. We need to find out now if the graphical output is proper. Well, no, there are a lot of graphical issues and the game seems to be lagging quite a lot. As you can already see, uh, well, I believe that in Yuzu early access build, the game might run a little better, but we'll need to find that out for ourselves. As I mentioned before, this is the initial release of Yuzu emulator. So there will be a lot of update, lot of improvements, lot of gameplay experience, lot of performance boost, which I'll be covering on my channel. So be sure to subscribe again. I have covered Citra emulator since 2019. I have covered Skyline emulator since 2020. So I'm basically one of the best emulation YouTuber. So let's exit uh, emulation in Pokemon Legends RCS. Let's open Demon Slayer Hinokami Chronicles. This is a game which I want to test out because it is fairly easy to go in game. 
Some games can take a lot of time to load. For example, for Hinokami Chronicles, at least on my device, it took me about one minute of waiting. Uh, so don't exit emulation if your game is showing black screen, just wait. And the device which I am using for today's video is my OnePlus 11 with 16 GB of RAM and Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor. There we go, Yuzu emulator has four stops. So not all games work, there are only few games which do go in game and have less graphical issues and are playable. Which is a good thing because it's a progress, it's very fun to be a part of a progress. It's a journey to stable Nintendo Switch emulation on Android. In my next upload, I'll be showing you guys the best settings and after that, we'll do Pokemon Sword Test, afterwards Pokemon Scarlet Test, so a lot of videos coming to you. See you guys next time, goodbye.